Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Coffee with Carl. I am your host, Carl Zellner, one of the attorneys here with Anderson Business Advisors. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Roth 401ks. So I've made some prior videos on different types of retirement plans, retirement options, uh, and items like that. One of the ones that we don't really talk a whole lot about is the for Roth 401k. So let's hit some basics on there and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. So on when we talk about retirement accounts, usually they come in traditional or Roth. So the basic breakdown is traditional retirement accounts are with pre-tax dollars and Roth accounts, whether it's Roth IRA or Roth 401k is post-tax. So after you've paid tax on the income, you then contribute it to the account. Um, with any retirement plan, really your first step is to calculate which make, what makes sense. Uh, what are you, what's your income bracket now? What do you expect or hope it will be <laughs> at the time of retirement to make sure it makes sense? If you're in a lower income bracket now, it may make sense to utilize a Roth account rather than a traditional account because if you're going to be in a higher income bracket when you retire, uh, it doesn't really help you if you defer the tax to a higher income bracket. You need to go low to high versus high to low. Uh, on a traditional IRA or traditional 401k, it can make sense if you're in a bit of a higher tax bracket to contribute to a traditional retirement account. Uh, but that's relying on the fact that you may be at a lower income bracket once you get to retirement. So once you get to retirement, if you contributed, say you're in the, I don't know, 30 something percent tax bracket, you're contributing to a traditional, then hopefully you'd be in a 20 or less percent tax bracket uh, by the time you're ready to take that money out. So that's sort of your basics on retirement plans on how to use them and why you should calculate or take a look at uh, what the benefit of using them is before you do. But there is a Roth 401k. Lots of folks don't know about the Roth and it can be a useful tool just like it is in an IRA, especially for my small business owners out there. You can have your own solo 401k set up off of your business as well as there's a piece of that solo 401k that has a Roth division within that same account. So you can even do things like in-plan conversions uh, from traditional to Roth within that own, within your own solo. So lots of great benefits to 401ks over IRAs, um, not knocking IRAs, but the, there's some additional limitations on IRAs that you can get around in 401ks if you set your 401k up with a provider who is going to open up the opportunities to you. I mean, some, some of the, when I talk about 401ks with my clients, really I talk about in a 401k, your risk of loss is lower. If you create a prohibited transaction in an IRA, you risk disqualifying your entire account. 401k, it's limited to the transaction, uh, as well as the ability to invest with a little bit more flexibility in that if you invest in a project or purchase a property with debt in an, in an IRA, you could be subject to UBIT, which makes that retirement account investment taxable, uh, and a 401k doesn't exist. So you have UBIT, UDFI issues potentially in an IRA, and you in with a 401k, you don't have to worry about those things. Additionally, the contribution limits are much higher in a 401k. In this year's 2020, I believe you're, you can contribute up to 57,000 into a 401k IRA. You're looking at it at 6,000. Now, there are some options with the IRA that you can look at as well um, that would get you up to those same contribution limits, but usually you're sort of, sort of starting to drift into the, the SEP IRA area. But uh, interesting option that's out there. So just to sort of sum up here, touch on a lot of little different things here. There, Roth 401k, all it means is you're making con con contributions post-tax. Best tool, I think, still in the market for most small business owners is going to be the solo 401k become, because it comes with a Roth portion built into that solo. So you even have the ability to do in-plan conversion without having to convert out to a Roth IRA. So pretty neat. I like them. I think that's an interesting tool. Uh, but just so you're aware that they're out there. And if you Googled this or found this video, uh, if you're not maybe a 
normal subscriber, then probably you were looking at this option anyway. So my suggestion would be uh, to get a hold of it through a solo 401k because now you have the flexibility of pre or post tax and you can enjoy all the benefits of a 401k over the IRA. So that's it for this episode of Coffee with Carl. It's been a pleasure seeing y'all again and we'll catch you on the next episode. As always, please take advantage of all of our free content. Uh, if you are a platinum client, always happy to hear from you. If you are somebody who may be considering being a client or at, want to ask some additional questions on any of the topics you see, I would encourage you to visit us at andersonadvisors.com where you can ask, request a free consultation. So at least you can see what we would suggest uh, before you make your decision on who to go with. So until next time, thanks everybody.